Welcome students, I am going to explain the next assignment that is Python program for lift or elevator simulation using Adafruit library on Beagle and Black. Now, uh, first of all, we will see the flow of writing the program. So, that is first step one is that import the Python libraries such as Adafruit OS time etc. In step two, we have to do pin assignment with the variables, but now instead of using the separate variables for every uh, pin numbers here we are going to define four list so before that you can see that this is the uh, simulation board for lift or elevator so here you can see that there are four direction LEDs these are LO LEDs which are used for direction lift direction then these are four green LEDs which are used for lift location or lift position again there are four red LEDs which are, which are used for lift purpose and there are four buttons which are used for switches they are used to uh, get the floor number so this way the uh, elevator simulation board is designed and uh, by looking this we need we required 19 pin numbers so we are having 19 pin numbers and that we have to assign uh, generally we have that we have to assign with the 19 variables and that is uh, that is uh, the, uh, the uh, difficult task for us so instead of that, doing that uh, we will just define the list four list so one list will be for this direction LEDs so uh, we will just provide the name we will define the name DL for this direction LEDs again one list will be for position LEDs for the screen LEDs uh, that we will provide a name PL here and after that one list will be for uh, these lift uh, LEDs so we will provide just LL uh, name for that list and finally the list will be for the BT list this BT list will be for these four buttons so this way we will uh, define the four list instead of uh, using the individual variables after that the next step is defining the functions for making your LED on uh, and then LED off and setting the button. Uh, so here we can uh, use or we can define LED on, LED off and set button function. So later we will see the definition. Then in step 4 we have to define function for turning off all the LEDs and setting the button. So we will define init all function here in, in which uh, you will off all the LEDs and we will set the button. Then after that in step 5 we will define function for upward and uh, upward direction and downward direction LEDs. So here we will use uh, up dir function, we will define up dir function and down dir function. So after that in step 6 we will define a function for getting floor number so we will give the name get floor number to that function and finally in the uh, step 7 in main logic or in our main program first we will do what we will first consider the current floor that is 0 and after that we will get the new floor number by calling get floor number function so after that we will compare new floor number with the current floor number if that floor number is greater then will go in upward direction or lift will go in upward direction else the lift will go in downward direction after that in between this uh, uh, will on and off the green LEDs that is position LEDs or location LEDs uh, of next and previous floor then finally we will we'll consider the new floor as a current floor and will of the left LED that is red LED, red LED of a rich floor so this way uh, there is a, a, a flow of your uh, writing program so we will now see the uh, program we will type the program so we will type vi and then we will just give the name left dot py so already there is a program so I will just Okay. So I will give the name left to dot py. So press I button for inserting the text. So before writing the program, we will uh, first of all we will provide the binary path path of Python. Then first step is to import libraries. 
so we will import adapt port underscore dbio dot gpio as gpio then we will import time library so after that next step is pin assignment pin assignment with the variables so here we will uh, use or we will define four list so I am going to copy the list directly the lists are already available so we will just copy it and we will paste here ok so this way you can see that dl list is having 7 pin numbers pl will have, a, have 4 pin numbers then ll is having 4 pin numbers and bt list is having 4 pin numbers which are connected with the uh, with that buttons and leds so after that next step is define function for led for making the led on and off and also Z button so here we will define def led on we will use the function name then we will provide pin parameter then we will press enter and give the space we will give, we'll give one tab uh, that we have to maintain um, in the page here now the definition is very simple that we have to call setup function and provide pin input parameter then gpio dot out for out direction and again gpio dot output for writing the high value here spin comma gpio dot high we have to write high value to on our led so after that i am going to copy the same de function definition because we have defined we have defined next function that is led of so just change the name and just change this high with low because you have to off it then next function we have to define that is set button in which again there will be pin input parameter colon then input uh, then enter and then give one tab for indentation and i am going to copy this function definition again here so because here the definition will be same just there will be a little change in setup function call you have to give this direction as in because uh, buttons we are, we are going to use for input and instead of this output there will be add underscore event underscore detect function for adding the event so one button is having four types of events that is um, falling rising both and none so out of that we are going to use falling event here and we are adding it to the button so after that next in next step we have to define function for initialization or for turning off all the leds so here we will define first init will provide name init all and inside this function call or inside this function definition first we will use one for loop for turning off all the direction LEDs so we will just call LED of function and we will use DL of I list here I will, I will be indexed here and after that I will use for I in range 0 comma 4 because there are 4 L uh, 4 direction uh, position uh, position LED 4 lift LEDs and 4 buttons so that uh, we will use 4 for all the common uh, that common things so LED off and just use PL of I here for position LED then after that use again call LED off for LL list or lift LEDs then after that we will call set button function for setting the button so here we will pass bt of i that is the list name of button and in this function in it all we will uh, we'll make uh, we will switch on the green led of 
ground floor because we have to consider the default floor we will consider ground floor as a default floor so we will on it here so with the help of LED on I will pass the index 0 to the PL list here because that is that uh, that points to the first pin number of PL list that will be the ground floor ground floors pin number so after that in next step we will define function for upward and downward direction so here we will define first for upward direction so I will give the name up TIR and in this function definition, definition we have to use direction LEDs only so there are seven direction LEDs so we will use for loop here for I in range we will use 0, 7 range so in this again we will call LED on function because first we have to on it and we will pass DL of I here and after that we will provide a time of 0.5 second here and after that we will again define second for loop for turning off these LEDs, these all LEDs. So I will call LED off and I will pass DL of I here. Okay. And then after that we will define setting function for downward direction. So in this function I will I am going to copy this definition because everything is same. Just there is a little change. I will just paste here now here we, are, we have to go in downward direction so the upper board will should be first and now the lower board should be after that and after that you have to provide your period that is uh, we have to decrement it by 1 so we we, uh, we can take here third parameter that is minus 1 and after that we have to use here i minus 1 index because here the 7 will not be the index of your DL because DL is having maximum index 6 so to make it that index or to decrement after decrementing this every index by 1 will get the direction LED DL list indexes so that we have to use here I minus 1 so remaining things are same so after that we will go for next step where we have to define function we have to define function for getting floor number so again we will define def and we will give name get floor number and inside this function we will again use infinite loop because we will take this data infinitely and in fact for inside this while loop in infinite loop while true will use if condition and will use gpio object and then we will uh, call one, uh, one function level function that is event underscore detected and inside this will pass the pt's lists first index that is zeroth index which will give us the button first and after pressing the it will detect the event of uh, first button so after detecting the event of first button it will uh, it will on the red LED which is uh, present in front of that button so I will call LED on function and I will pass the LL of 0 index here that will be the uh, that will provide the pin number of that uh, red LED and after that I will return the value of floor that is 0 that is ground floor so after that I am going to copy the same definition because the next definitions are same just difference in the variables so I will use here else if lf that is called as and after that I will just replace this with 1 because we have to access the next button I will use 1 here and I will use here so this will return the first floor by pressing the second button and that will also on the second red LED so again I will copy here or paste here and I will replace this one by two for second floor again this is replaced by two for second floor again I am going to 
paste the same code here so this will again this will be again replaced by 3 for third floor 3 and 3 so this way you can return uh, your four floor numbers you will get your floor numbers by uh, checking the condition and by checking the event detected so now we will go for main program or main logic so I told you that in main logic first of all you have to call turn off all or oh sorry you have to use you have to call init all function then after that you have to consider the current floor as the ground floor as the current floor so we will use cflr variable here and I will assign 0 that is ground floor value after that we can take infinite loop that is while true and inside infinite loop inside while true we can get the value of new floor so we will use new nflr variable equal to we will call the get floor number function so this will give us the value of new floor after pressing the button so after that we will again use if condition so if nflr is greater than cflr we will check that if new floor value is greater than current floor so that time our lift will go in upward direction but before that we have to store our tmp value so before that we have to store our current floor value into tmp variable so that we can increment the value after that we have to use again we have to use this another condition uh, that we have to use while loop here and we have to check that whether our tmp is not equal to new floor it will check that whether your uh, lift is reached on the uh, new floor or not if it is not reached there it will go in upward up the direction so we will call up the air function here and after that we will provide our time dot sleep of point something like point 0.1 or point 0.2 so after that we will uh, off we will off we will call the LED off function and we will off the position LED so previous position LED and then we will increment the TMP by 1 for getting the next position LED so here we on, on make on our next position LED so when, uh, when the lift is going on upward direction and on, uh, it, it, is going, it will go on next floor so that it will on the green LED of next floor so now after that I will provide sleep time for this so I will provide 0.4 here so after that will I am going to just copy this definition because the definition will be same after this just little bit change here there so we use here elf and we will change the symbol with less than so this time it will go in downward direction so we will use down dir we will call down dir we will change here we will make it as minus we will decrement it by 1 here and remaining things are same so finally for this uh, below that I told you that uh, your current floor your new floor will be current floor here and after that you have to off the lift LED so I will use LL and index NFLR so whenever your lift reaches on the uh, target or new floor the time it will off the red LED of that um, specified floor so here the program has been completed so finally I will call exit function so this way you can oh one thing is remaining here so we can display some statement here that is print lift is going in upward direction on hash person d floor and then let's use person nflr access the value of nflr here and then just copying the same statement and 
I will paste it here. We'll paste it here so that we'll get our clarity. So here I'll just I will replace. I will just replace uh, this with downward direction. Many things are same. We'll run it. Okay, exit, escape, shift, hold, W Q, press enter. Now we'll get the output of this program. So I'm going to show the output to you. Just hold on. Now you can see the output. Here I will run the program. So right from left to dot py. Now you can see the output when running the program. So there here you can see that green LED is on, the ground floor green LED is on. Now I am pressing the button of third floor. Now you can see that your lift is going in third floor. Okay, so red LED is off and that green LED is on of new floor. Now again I press the button of ground floor. Now lift is going in downward direction. You can see that lift is going in downward direction. So this way, you can see that you can move. You can again move it to <coughs> other floors.